Born in Atlanta, Georgia, Roger Carruth and Yvette Edwards welcomed a bouncing baby boy on August 5, 2001. You might be wondering where he got the nickname Ant-Man from. It's not from his friends. He got his name at the tender age of three from his dad. He wasn't a basketball lover from the start. I know you're wondering how this could be. Edwards was actually a great football player from a young age in Pop Warner football. He was a star player and played lots of different positions on the gridiron. He was actually one of the top running backs in the country when he was 10 years old. He developed his interest in basketball after watching his brother play and thinking it seemed more fun. In the ninth grade, he was trained by Justin Holland, an Atlanta-based basketball trainer. During his high school days, Edwards worked in various youth camps. Tragedy. The death of any loved one will leave a vacuum in your life, but it can be especially hard when it's someone as special as your mother. Edwards, being the last of three kids, had a relationship with his mother and siblings that was so close. His relationship with his mom became so strong that he became his mom's sleeping buddy. He was in eighth grade when this great tragedy occurred. The death of his beloved mother. What a loss he suffered at such an age. Eight months later, while still recovering from such a huge blow, life dealt him another hand. Another tragedy struck. It was his grandmother's death and he lost another important jewel in his life. Edwards was quoted as saying, and my grandma, she was like our backbone. She did everything for us. When we didn't have money for the lights and pay bills, she'd come through. She worked at a post office, so she always had money. They both died of cancer. What a painful way to go. He celebrated the death of his mom and grandma on his draft night with pictures of them side by side. Despite his tough childhood with the passing of his beloved mother and grandmother, Edwards never lost hope of his basketball dreams. Career. Anthony went to Holy Spirit Prep in Atlanta, where he averaged 29 points and 9 rebounds a game during his senior year. Edwards made his college debut for the Georgia Bulldogs, where he scored 24 points, 9 rebounds, and 4 steals in the win, giving him the highest scoring output in a Georgia freshman debut. He also recorded a season-high 37 points later that year. He is in the books as the first Georgia freshman to score at least 37 points in a game and he also became the top scorer on his team and among freshmen nationwide. His impressive season won him various honors such as second team All-SEC, SEC Freshman of the Year, and four-time SEC Freshman of the Week. In the 2020 NBA Draft, he was the number one pick by the Minnesota Timberwolves. With the first pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Anthony Edwards from the University of Georgia. Edwards also had more debut success, putting up 15 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists in 25 minutes in the win against the Detroit Pistons. Luck was on his side as he was supposed to be a substitute at first, but injuries to the main roster gave him an early chance to be a starter. In his first season with the Timberwolves, Edwards played 72 games and started 55 of those. At the end of the season, his impact on the team got him various recognitions, such as runner-up in Rookie of the Year voting. NBA All-Rookie First Team, and he became the third youngest player to score 40-plus points in NBA history. Ant-Man just finished his second season, averaging 19 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists per game, leading the Timberwolves to the playoffs for the first time in 4 years and only the second time in 18 years. What an impressive way to start an NBA career, right? But there is probably a lot more where that came from. So now let's get into how Edwards makes and spends his millions. Salary. Your famous Ant-Man signed a four-year contract with the Minnesota Timberwolves in 2020 when he was the number one pick in the draft. But what you really want to know is how much the deal is worth. Well, he will rake in $44 million over the life of his rookie contract. That's an average of $11 million per year. As his deal expires in 2024, you would be given a qualifying offer for one year at $17.5 million from the Timberwolves, giving him a chance to accept or reject the offer. If Edwards accepts the qualifying offer, he plays for a year under the contract and then becomes an unrestricted free agent by 2025. At this stage in his career, we think the T-Wolves will definitely want to lock him up for a long time. He hasn't made an All-NBA team or All-Star team yet, but if he does in the next two years, he could be eligible for a huge extension. As of right now, his second contract will likely be over $130 million. 
We will see how that plays out for Edwards and the Timberwolves. So Anthony Edwards has a net worth of, you'll just have to wait a little bit for that one. <laughs> endorsement deals. You might be wondering if this young kid has an endorsement deal to his name. Yeah, he actually does. In 2020, he had his first and only endorsement deal to date, and it was with Adidas. This made him one of the few NBA stars to be endorsed by Adidas over Nike in basketball. He now joins the ranks with Damian Lillard, James Harden, and Derrick Rose to have an Adidas deal to their name. We don't know all the numbers, but we do know he will have fresh kicks and gear for a long, long time. Cars and House Known for his flashy dunks, Ant-Man also likes to soar in his Lamborghini Urus on Forgiato wheels. With the V8 engine, this baby goes up to a whopping 641 horsepower. Edwards chose to pop it off a bit with a sick blue interior. The blue steering is definitely top notch. This set of wheels is estimated to cost about 250,000. Being that he only just finished his second season in the NBA, he doesn't own a house currently, but resides in Atlanta, Georgia. As a dog lover, he owns two dogs that are his best friends. The number five. If you're a basketball fan, this probably won't be the first time you've seen Edwards wearing the number five on his jerseys. You've probably been wondering, why is this? This is just his way of honoring his mom and grandmother who both died on the fifth of the month. Love life. In 2020, Edwards dated Janine Robel, who was about eight years older than him. Their relationship was really private, so not much is known. However, they did break up only after a few months. In 2021, he started dating a woman named Shannon. It's actually Chief Keefe's baby mama, and their relationship popped up on social media. Ant-Man is popular all over social media and has over 1 million followers on Instagram and over 123 followers on Twitter. Net worth. Now is the time you've all been waiting for, so how much is Anthony Edwards really worth? With all of his endorsement deals and salaries, Edwards has a net worth of 14 million. Ant-Man indeed. 